In this short instructional video, we're going to be looking at how we can move more efficiently and effectively to improve our enjoyment and safety in the mountains. This will include moving on steeper terrain and over different types of terrain. The first thing that we can do when walking on steeper ground is to reduce the angle of it. Rather than travelling straight up or down a slope, we can tackle it in diagonal lines, thus reducing the angle that we're travelling on. A second consideration is being balanced over your feet. If we lift one foot without transferring our weight to the other, we'll fall over. If we want to stay balanced, we need to move our weight over to that foot. The third thing that we can do is we can use our feet sideways and thus be able to use the edges of our boots. This can be used in a sidestepping action like this where the ground is quite steep or it can also be used across or in a traverse along a slope. In descent, we can also use this to have one foot still while the other reaches out and tests the next foothold. And then we can move down once we're happy we've got purchase. It's much easier to control your ascent or descent by taking shorter steps. Fourth thing that we can do is to lower our centre of gravity. And to do this, you bend your knees and drop down into your feet. This keeps the weight over your feet, but gives you some flex in the system so you can absorb little slips when you're traveling down a slope or up a slope. This lower center of gravity provides you with a more stable base to work from. The first thing you can do is to employ weight transfer as demonstrated here. So I'm placing a foot, weighting it, and then stepping across to it. Once the ground becomes more comfortable, movement can become more fluid. As the ground gets steeper, we can start to use our hands to help us balance. In this demonstration, you can see my hands are staying quite low, giving me a stable base to press down on holds. It keeps my centre of balance quite low and therefore I feel more stable. I'm also not pulling rocks down on top of myself. The hands are primarily used to balance, where the feet are used to support the weight of the person. Feet can be used in a number of ways, in natural gaps and cracks between boulders, and also on ledges and edges. The hands can be used in a number of ways. Here I'm reaching over the top of a hold, from the side of a hold, pulling sideways. Here I'm going to use it to press down on a hold. All these same tactics can be used in descent. Here you can see that I'm looking down to see where my feet are going next and using both my hands, a low centre of gravity and short steps to get down to the bottom. So in summary, we can change the gradient by zigzagging up or down the slope. We can improve our balance by transferring our weight from one foot to the other. We can turn our feet sideways to the slope so we can use the edge of our boots. We can lower our centre of gravity and we can use a variety of handholds for balance on steeper ground. In descent we need to pay particular attention to looking where we're going as our view is obscured. All of these skills and many others are used in combination to enable you to move more efficiently and effectively through the mountain and to improve your enjoyment and safety. The skills are complex and require sound judgment and practice 